Gin goes with tonic and just friends, platonic. Well, here we are at the end of the week, David, and uh, each night you've given us a little <laughs> tutorial on how to deal with those cryptic crosswords, the different types yes, of, yeah. of approaches to clues. Chapter five. <laughs> That's right. The last uh, nutshell uh, tutorial, if you like, Richard, uh, looking at a, a very common formula in cryptic crosswords, the homophone recipe. And just to remind everybody, a homophone is a word that uh, sounds the same as another, but is spelt differently or has a different meaning. And that is why in every homophone clue, there has to be a signpost of sound. Uh, and the signposts uh, most commonly uh, encountered would be say or hear or utter or articulate or audience or radio, anything uh, suggesting the audio realm. Uh, so a, a, a clear example, I hope, of a homophone clue might be a bigger kitchen device we hear. And a kitchen device is a grater. Uh, now that sounds like greater with an E, which means bigger. So it really is, you need to work out which is the answer uh, indicated by the homophone signpost. I, I'm, I'm getting the gist of this now. I was a little mystified to start, but it's, that's making perfect All sense. All right. Now, they're tricky if the signpost happens to be in the middle uh, of the wordplay and the definition. For example, just mentioned ticket price. Now, the answer is fair, but you don't know because fair means just, if A-I-R, and a ticket price is a fair, F-A-R-E, but you don't know which uh, is the answer because the signpost is right in the middle of those two elements. Mm, it sounds evil. Uh, it is evil. <laughs> but I'll give you one that uh, has the signpost to the end, so you need to work out, if you can, what the answer is. Okay. You ready? No, this I'm is your ready. final lesson. OK, two fruit say. Two fruit say, and the answer has four letters. So it's got to be a fruit yep. that sounds like something to do with two. Yeah, the number two, that's right. Uh, oh, well, a, a pear. A pear, well done. Now, the real question is... How do you spell pear? Is it the fruit or is it the twosome? Well, I guess I was I was thinking of the twosome. You are correct, and it's because two fruit say, so the signpost is right beside fruit, so that's what you have to say or hear, and when you say the word pear, uh, the fruit, it sounds like pear, the twosome, which is the definition and your answer. Well done, Richard, and you have survived <laughs> your week's tutorial. Well guess, done. Guess what? This weekend, I'm going to be sitting down and trying to work my way through a few cryptic crosswords. Best of luck. Thank you, David. Let's Pleasure. look at the score. Cameron, 13. Trevor, 20. And we have some more letters coming up. Cameron. Can I have a vowel, please, Lily? You certainly can. U. And a consonant? S. Another consonant? D. And a consonant, please. N. And a vowel. I. Another vowel. A. And a consonant. C. And a vowel, please. I. And a consonant. And last letter, T. Here's the clock. Cameron? Just a five. A five for you, Trevor? I've got a six, Richard. Hang on to that. Let's go with the five first. Uh, ducts. Your six, Trevor? Daunt. What do you think, David? Well, you weren't daunted. It's a very uh, solid six. Good play, uh, Trevor. And in fact, it may uh, slightly aggravate you, Cameron, but I added an I-N to ducts for inducts, which is to int introduces or brings in for seven. Nice find. Those extra letters make all the difference, but Trevor scored six points. Let's see what we can get from the next letters on this Friday night. Trevor. Thanks, Richard. Lily, can I have a consonant, please? L. Another consonant. P. And again. S. A vowel. E. Another vowel. O. Another vowel. E. Consonant. D. Another consonant. R. And one more consonant. And to finish, B. I'll start the clock.
Trevor, how did you go with those? I got a six, Richard. And uh, Cameron? Also a six. Yours first, please? Uh, breeds. Yours, Trevor? Bleeds. <laughs> Not too much variation. No, there you go. Uh, they rhyme and they're both good for six. Deplores. I was talking about feeling aggravated or feeling aggrieved. Deplores is there for uh, eight. Comes from the Latin deplorare, which means to bewail. Nice find, David. But good stuff. Trevor, Cameron, six each. Time for some more numbers now. And um, Cameron, just say, for example, you were writing a script about a situation comedy set, maybe in a game show of some sort, and a character had to choose, well, when it was numbers time, what do you think they might do? Well, with a wipe of his brow, I think he'd choose two large and four consonants. <laughs> <laughs> can you oblige, Lily? Oh, I'm not sure I can, actually. <laughs> oh, that's just too much of a challenge. That's worse than a rat pack. Yeah. I know. <laughs> We're going to have to ask for another version. Well, let's, let's stick to something familiar and go two large and four small, please. <laughs> two large and four small. That I can do, Cameron. And our four small numbers. Two, eight, four... One and the two large, 50 and 100. The target to reach is 427. Let's head there. Did you like those numbers or would you have preferred a few consonants in there? I wouldn't have minded a consonant, but I got <laughs> quite close. I got 426. 426, only one off. Good stuff. Trevor? I was 434. 434, a bit further away. So, uh, Cameron, what did you do? Uh, 100 times 4 is 400. 100 times 4 is 400. 50 divided by 2 is 25. Uh, 50 divided by 2 is 25. Add that to 400 and get 425. 425. And then add 1. And the one is 426. 426, just one away. Some very nice work there from Cameron. How did you go, Lily? Yeah, I got there in the end. Good, oh. What did you do? Okay, now eight times 100 is 800. Now bear with me, <laughs> I'm going somewhere here. Uh, plus the 50 and the four is 854. Um, and that divided by two is 427. Oh. oh, that's a nice little bit of lateral thinking there. Good stuff, Lily. Cameron also did very well indeed. Seven points. So our score is Cameron, 26. Trevor, not that far ahead, 32. As we head for our next break, another word mix. It's sheep, cat. And the clue this time, low-priced bird noise. Back in a while.